Testing testicular booty holes. It appears to be working. So, when I was in third grade, put this on. Oh, here we go. I was probably going to burn it. I probably not do that. Anyway, I was in third grade, okay? I think. No, I, I, was, I think it was like first grade. I was really, I was really young. I was a young boy. I went to this school, and it was, uh, it was very yeehaw. Or yeehaw redneck, um, and to paint a picture of how redneck this school was, we actually had bring your tractor to work day for the high school. Bring your tractor to the school day, the school, not work. Well, it kind of was, but we had a fucking tractor store right across the street. Out of the middle of fucking nowhere. Like, this was, like, nasty. This, this place was nasty. And, uh, as you can imagine, it's the vast majority of the students, and I mean, like, 99.9% .9 of them are white. I don't, I don't just mean white. You know, there's different types of white people. There's, you know, white people, you know, it's kind of just like normal white people. Then there's, there's white people. You know, H in front of the W white. And this is H in front of the W white high school and elementary. I'm, I'm talking more specifically elementary for this story. So now that I've painted a picture of what the school is like, <clears throat> I'm going to tell you a little story that lives rent free in my head. So I was in first grade. And I was in the bathroom. All right, I walked into the bathroom. I was feeling a little rambunctious because I was I was a, I was a little rabble rouser. I was a little I was a little deviant. And uh, I walked in there. I was feeling amped up. I was feeling a little antsy. And I saw the stall door of the bathroom was kind of like open a little bit. And these doors opened outward, which was kind of weird. But like they they opened outward. So I was like, the logical conclusion here would be to kick it as hard as I can, to, to slam it shut. And uh, so I walked up to it, and I'm just like, fuck it. Everyone else is in the bathroom. This is like, this is this was back whenever we'd have, we would have like collective bathroom breaks throughout the day. We'd all walk on the little green line all the way up to the fucking bathroom. <clears throat> and then, you know, those who didn't have to go would just wait outside or whatever. <clears throat> And so I walk into the bathroom with a group of people and I see, I see the door open a little bit. I'm just like, fuck it. I, I kicked this shit as hard as I could. And, uh, I've done this a couple times where I'd like kick the door shut and, uh, it didn't make the signature sound that it normally does. You know, the m metallic clank and slam you know that this sound was more of like a thud a very loud thud and it rattled the door and i was like that was odd i didn't really think anything of it and then i then i hear <laughs> this kid crying and i'm like no fucking way and i i'm like i must have smashed his finger or something so i like i look in there and this dude has his fucking pants down. He's on the toilet. And he's like holding his face and he's crying. The foreign exchange kid. <clears throat> it, it was the foreign exchange kid. <clears throat> and th this kid was from India. He, he's, he was Indian. And he, uh, he was dark. And uh, now that I've painted a picture of how racist this school 
probably is. Um, everybody referred to him as the black kid, not by his name, but as the black kid. Even if he was black, that's still fucked up. You know, you know what I mean. But like, <clears throat> uh, looking back on it as an adult. Uh, it's kind of fucked up, but yeah, this kid's crying on the fucking toilet, <sighs> and like the teacher comes in because he's fucking screaming and shit, and I get taken to the principal's office. He says I did it on purpose. I didn't even know he was in there, and this this was the start of like several instances where I do something and like the teachers or the principal assumes that I had some sort of malicious intent. And I'm just like, dude, I didn't know he was in there. And they're like, mm -hmm. I'm like, what the like, what, like, what am I going to say? I'm like fucking seven years old. I'm, I'm not, you know, good at arguing. And like, especially if you're, a, uh, if you're accusing me of something, how, what, what else am I going to say? No, I didn't do it. I, I didn't mean to do it. You know, that's all I got. I'm a fucking little kid. My vocabulary is very limited. And so this kid thinks I did it on purpose or he, he was playing the victim. Regardless, I still feel bad because he was bullied a lot. You know, not like, you know, physically really, but like, you know, he was made fun of quite a bit, which is still fucked up, you know, that, that fucks kids up. But, you know, I can't feel too bad because this dude like went off to be like a super successful businessman, wears tuxedos and shit. Um, yeah, he, he was always the super, like the smartest kid, like this kid would cry when he got an A minus, like for real. And it's just like, damn. But that was this started. This started a whole series of events where some kid said that I stabbed him with the pencil, but I smacked him with the eraser part of it, which still kind of hurt. But the pencil was the. This was on the bus. Okay, this kid had his hand above the seat. This guy would always fuck with me, and I was just like, you know what? Fuck this guy. So I took the metal part of the pencil. I smacked his finger with it, and then he starts screaming, and he starts fucking crying and shit. And then I get sent to the principal's office, presumably, and the fucking principal, she just calls me in there. I don't even know what I'm in there for. But she's, she takes a pencil, and she scribbles on a paper, and she's like, see that? That's lead. And I'm like, oh, shit. I didn't say that, but I thought that. But. She was like, lead can get, she's talking about how lead can, you know, cause lead poisoning. And I'm just like, it's not lead, it's graphite for one. And for two, I didn't stab him. I smacked him with a pencil. She's like, I saw the mark on his hand. I'm like, no, you fucking didn't. You did not see a mark that resembled a stab. I've stabbed several kids with pencils. And, and you know about this. Like, I got sent to the principal's office for the other two kids I actually stabbed with a pencil. But these guys were actually fucking with me. One, one kid was, uh, one kid was, he had a pencil in his hand and he kept poking me with it. I'm like, if you, if you don't stop poking me, I'm going to stab you, like, for real. And he, he was like, he's like, I'm a fighter. And I'm like, I fucking stabbed the shit out of him in the arm. And then the fucking, he doesn't really get mad. We, we end up being friends, but like teachers saw it and you know how that goes. And the same exact fucking thing happened to another kid. Like me and him were like fucking around and he would like pinch my neck and it's like a, he called it a pressure point. I don't know if it is a pressure point, but it fucking hurts whenever you get pinched really hard right there. And so I'm like, if you do it again, I'm going to stab you with, the, with this pencil. And it was a red colored pencil. And he didn't do it again, but he got close to me. And it, he, his body language was insinuating that he was about to do it again. So I just go ahead and I stab him in the arm. I stab him right in the fucking arm right here. And 
this thing was sharp. I had just sharpened this thing and it broke off part of the thing in his skin. And he wasn't mad about it, but again, the teacher saw it. So we both had to go up to the principal's office. And uh, thankfully, this was a different principal. Um, but yeah, he had, he had red on him. It looked like blood, but it was just the colored pencil. It was probably a little bit of blood, but I guess I'm getting off topic here. But yet, the the whole foreign exchange student thing, man, I, it's fucked up. He was pretty cool. I actually liked the kid. You know, I, I actually thought that he was cool as fuck. But yeah, he thought that he thought I did it on purpose, or at least that's what he told everybody. So uh, yeah, that's about all I got for that story. Not very exciting, but I still think about it. So if you're if you're watching this, Neil, I didn't mean to fucking do it. Okay, I think you knew. I think you knew I didn't mean to do it, but you're just like, you know what? Enough kids bully me here. Maybe somebody will feel bad for me. I don't know. Yeah, I think he. I think he thinks I actually did it on purpose. Because he kind of didn't really like me for a while until high school, you know. Then I think he either forgot about it or hopefully, hopefully he just repressed it and compartmentalized it. Um, maybe not, hopefully not. Hopefully he's got over it. But uh, yeah. Well, he's more successful than I'll ever be, so. He, he can thank me for invigorating him through his past childhood trauma to be successful. So, uh, you're welcome, Neil. You're welcome. But that's about all I got.